I'm going to show you how to make these Jello American flags. This video also forms part of a very special video collaboration along with my friend Beth, who is cooking and crafting. She's making this gorgeous red, white, and blue 4th of July trifle. So stick around to the end of the video for information on how to see that. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for you. Hello everyone, starting off with a large bowl and three packages of blue jello, it's raspberry flavor. You're also gonna add in one envelope of unflavored gelatin, that's a quarter of an ounce. Now to that, add in three cups of boiling water. Stir until the gelatin is dissolved. And then you're gonna pour it into a very, very lightly greased nine by 13 inch pan. I sprayed mine with cooking spray and then wiped it down with a paper towel just to leave a very light film. And then you're going to put this in the refrigerator and allow it to set completely. Now make up the red portion. You'll need four packages of red jello. You can use strawberry or cherry or even raspberry and one envelope of unflavored gelatin. Then add in four cups of boiling water and stir until completely dissolved. Now for the white portion, you will need two envelopes of unflavored gelatin and one half cup of cold water. Stir that around until dissolved and let it sit. And in another bowl, place one can of sweetened condensed milk and one cup of boiling water. Stir that together. And to that first bowl that has the gelatin and the cold water, Add in a half a cup of boiling water to that and stir until the gelatin is completely dissolved and then pour it into the sweetened condensed milk and boiling water. Once your blue gelatin is completely set, you're going to slice it into one inch slices and you're going to slice them on the short side. And then remove every other blue strip, leaving several blue stripes across your pan. Now you're gonna take your red jello mixture and you're gonna place three tablespoons into each of the empty places in the pan. Then put it in the refrigerator and allow it to set completely. It's gonna take about 15 minutes. Now to keep your extra red and white from setting, I placed mine in the sink with just a little bit of hot water just to make sure it didn't set up on me. So once the red is set, you can add three tablespoons of white and this should bring you up to just about level with the blue stripe. Allow that to set and then add a cup and a quarter of the red. Put that in the fridge, allow it to set and then add a cup and a quarter of white. Put that in the fridge, allow it to set and so on. Keep adding layers until all of your liquid jello mixture is gone. Now I suggest you allow your jello to chill in the refrigerator for about an hour or so before you decide to slice it. And you can see from the side of the pan here, all the little flags. Now slicing it up, you can do it a couple different ways. You can kind of slice across the short side of the pan along the blue lines that you had before and then cut out the little flags one at a time. Another way of doing it that I discovered afterwards is all you have to do is make very long slices lengthwise and just make sure the slices are the thickness that you want the final flags to be. And then slice the little flags that way and you'll know exactly where the blue is. If you see what I mean here. Now I guarantee you if you bring these little jello American flags to a party or a 4th of July celebration, people are going to wonder how you managed to get the blue jello on the top corner of your little flag. I also added a few little white pearl sprinkles on the blue just to make it look more like an American flag, but this is really more for photos or to put on just before you're serving them because they have a tendency to want to slide off if you move the plates around too much. So I hope you enjoyed this video and as promised, here are the links to Beth's delicious and gorgeous 4th of July red, white, and blue trifle. I hope you check her out. We have been friends for many, many years and she is an awesome YouTuber who does great cooking and really awesome crafts on her channel. 
Go ahead and click right on your screen or see the links in the description box. Also, you'll find a link on your screen to my 4th of July playlist. Thanks for watching.